This video is sponsored by Choice Provisions. Hello, Z-Bird. Today we're playing Bit Trip Rerunner. The original rhythm platformer is back with new mechanics, trippy visuals, and a killer soundtrack. This remade version features updated levels as well as the Runner Maker, which allows you to make your own Bit Trip Runner levels. So I'm really excited to play this remake for you guys in today's episode of Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Let's get started. Whoa, big comet coming in. Ooh. And there he is, there's Commander Video. And we're getting started just like that. It's so crazy to me how similar this is, but also how updated it is compared to the original, since I played that one right when it came out. I really liked it. But this is sort of a fun mixture of a platformer and a rhythm game. You can see that commander video here he sort of runs all on his own and we're just pressing buttons to uh make him avoid all these obstacles right now i'm just jumping around but it sort of syncs up with the music in a really nice way there we go we got some extra health there i think very cool and i'm trying my best of course to play and keep with the rhythm at the same time while talking to you guys so it can be a little bit challenging but since i feel like i'm sort of familiar with this one I can keep up pretty well. And as we get farther into the level, of course it gets more difficult, but the music picks up more and it's just, it's really addicting to play, even when it gets super challenging. Now I've also played the sequels, Bit Trip Runner 2 and 3. Those were definitely a little bit more of a different art style, but I always loved the look of the original more. So that the fact that we sort of have like this halfway point between the original and the second and third game now, is pretty cool. But look at this, we finished our first level without any issues. We got all 32 pieces of gold, so we got the challenge complete too. <laughs> oh, this is so neat. So 34 million points, we got the extra hearts too, or the plus signs, whatever they're supposed to be. Um, I don't know if they were like plus sign for extra health, but uh, we get a little thing unlocked because of that. So that's our first level here, and I think we're just moving on to the next one, one, two, catalyst. So there's several worlds to make your way through with each one. Things get a little bit more difficult. If you hold the jump button, you sort of glide a little bit, as you can see. So timing your jump, pretty important. And I'll try my best to get all the gold again. Oh no, <laughs> whoops. We luckily at least uh, get a checkpoint, so that's good. So these require like little tiny jumps. There we go, nice. But I think just a combination of it being sort of a runner game, but it having that rhythm to it, so it's not just purely uh, keeping up with the visuals, but you sort of, if you can keep your rhythm through the music you're listening to, it becomes a lot easier, which I'll give you guys sort of like a chance to listen through it now. I'll stop talking as much. And you can really tell how it like really syncs up with the music a bit and it has a cool vibe to it. And while the game is like super exciting and action packed, because of the soundtrack and just sort of the visuals of it, there's something so relaxing to it in my opinion. I never really felt myself getting too mad at this game, even when it got super difficult back when I originally played it. So we'll see if it's any different today. I don't think it will be, I think it'll be even better. So there we go, one, two catalyst all completed. Got a bunch of super there. And ooh, the perfect finish again. Things are going pretty well right now. And there is also, I think a good time to mention, different difficulties we can do. There's low, medium, and high, and these change the density of like the level. So as many obstacles as there's gonna be in there. I'm keeping it with medium. I feel like I'm a pretty medium player most of the time, but it looks like at one three stimulus, we have a new ability, we have the slide. So we can hold down the slide around and then I gotta slide under those UFOs. So this is where things get a whole lot more complicated. Whoa, watch it. That was scary. All right, we're heading up. And I guess I'll wanna go down. And then yeah, under like that. Awesome. Jump over all this stuff. Watch out for the, the creepy crawlies. And we'll grab whatever bonuses we can. Oh, I didn't even see that. I was too far looking ahead at the, the monster. I didn't even see the rock. Whoops, there you go. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cool. What's nice about it too is just, you have all these extras you can collect, like these pluses, but you don't really need to. It's just sort of a go your own pace with that. And I really do think that the difficulty option that they've added, I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original. If it was, I wasn't aware of it. I probably would have used it because this is one of those games that thoroughly challenges you later on. As we gain more like abilities here, 
more obstacles start popping up and it gets really, really tough. And there we go, we were able to finish it, not all in one run, so I don't think we get the perfect, but still, all 32 gold pieces and the extra pieces as well. Keeping a pretty good streak with that, so that's always good to see. Nice. Aw, uh, not quite getting that one item. Did I miss gold then? Or maybe that's like an overtime thing. I'm not really sure what those are, so maybe we'll find out a little bit later. Okay, so we're gonna jump over all this stuff. We're keeping up pretty well. With each level, things get a little bit more challenging, a little bit more in depth. I figure we'll get through the first world in today's video, if we can. We'll have to see how long that ends up taking us. But then afterwards, we're gonna check out the new Runner Maker, which allows you to make your own levels, which seems pretty darn fun. Okay. Gotta focus in now that the game's picking up its pace a little bit more. And it's this weird, whoa, mix of nostalgia for me. Cause like I said, since I played this game when it originally released, a lot of the visuals are very reminiscent of the original, but are just so much more detailed. It's sort of how like I saw it as a kid when I played this, but now it's actually like that in real life. There we go. Awesome, so that's another level done. We're doing really good, like better than I expected. I figured I'd be laughing at myself, making a ton of mistakes, but so far, keeping up pretty good. So I say that maybe we should jump up in difficulty a little bit. I'll get a little bit of a taste test of the high difficulty density and we'll try the next level. So this is 1-5 energy. We have a new ability here, kicking. So we have to press the X button for that. Yeah, just throw out the kick right there. It's such a cute little animation too. That's what I like about Commander Video is that he's just like such a simple design. There we go. We're keeping it pretty well. And I'll go down here. Got it. Nice. And I gotta dive under those. Now that there's like more things to input, I'm tempted to try to kick them away, but it doesn't quite work like that, I don't think. There we go. And now you can really tell, whoa, oh, I jumped a little too high there. But you can really tell now that with all the different obstacles and different moves we can do with them, that there is Oh man, there we go, there we go. A lot more of a rhythm to it. It feels like a full song now, which is pretty cool. And if you get all the extra little pluses, you can see Commander Video actually has a rainbow following him, which is a pretty cool detail. I do like that a lot. So there we go, challenge complete with that one. And I was able to do it on the highest difficulty, even if we did get knocked out once or twice. Still, not so bad. We get another boom box thing. I don't know what those are, but maybe we'll find out soon. Okay, so next up we have one six incentive. And with this one, we can dance. Whoa, look at us go. We're boogieing. I don't remember this. I love it. All right, I don't know if that does anything. Maybe it gives us extra points or something. Or maybe it's just purely for style. I don't know, if you're feeling bold about it, you can just book your way through the level. I need to be careful, cause I, yeah, I guess if you do try to dance, it will sort of block your input, so you gotta make sure you're doing it at a good time. That is so funny, I love it. All right, oh no, I missed another one. Wait, I gotta get them all. At this point, I'm addicted to getting all the gold, so that time I intentionally got knocked out so I can try to get this again. There we go, you just need a short little jump for that one. Okay. Whoa, scary jumps there for sure. I'll kick through all these crystals, jump for that. Yep, we'll dance a little bit more. Oh, hey guy, that was a little tiny commander video we just ran by. That was very cool. Whoa, oh, I tried to jump over that. Oh, we get sent way back. Not good. <laughs> no, I'm too busy dancing, I get knocked out. All right, try again, try again. And dive under this, got it. Okay, see now I know through my failed attempts what's sort of coming up and it helps us get through it better. Ah, oh, I missed another one. Hold on, this will be, if I miss it this time, so be it, so be it, we'll just move on. Don't need to get all the gold every time. It's just super satisfying. Yeah, okay, never mind. I thought it was down there. We'll keep it moving. And that's why, you know, replaying the levels can be a pretty big benefit. 
because you'll be able to memorize where everything is. Okay, I'll dance again. Whoa, I turned into a dog that time. That was weird. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so many dance moves. We missed that one piece of gold, but we still, of course, complete the challenge. I'm a little bit curious if we back out here. We still have quite a few more levels left to check out. Um, it looks like we're about to halfway. If you get to the end, I think there's like a big boss. Uh, we'll see how far we can get. I do want to, of course, check out some other stuff, but for now, we'll keep going with the next level, 1-7 Motivation. All right, so with this next thing, we have Spring Ability. So as we get farther into the game, uh, we just unlock new stuff. So the Spring one, you just have to hold up or press up when you reach the spring. Okay, oh no, I pressed, that was the dance button. That was not the kick button, that was the dance. You can't dance at all your problems. Some of them I'm sure you can, but uh, not all of them. All right, let's try this again. I'll try my best to uh, get all of the gold in this level. I won't miss any like I did last time. Here's hoping, whoa, that guy was scary. Oh no, and I've already missed one, okay. For the sake of time, we'll leave it be. At least we're getting all the extra pieces so far without too much of an issue. Got it. All right. This is where I gotta be really focused in. Cause if not, we're gonna get knocked out for sure. Got it. And I think this is maybe a good illustration of how even though the game is really difficult, it's also really relaxing, which I feel like I find that with a lot of rhythm games. I've played a lot of rhythm games over the years. This is my favorite genre of games. And it's just you're able to sort of fall into that flow state and sort of forget the world for a moment as you try to get a little bit farther in the level, trying to just survive and make all the rhythm things happen. All right, we got 1-8 drive this time. Whoa, okay, that was a little bit weird. Those spaceships threw me off a little bit. But I think all we're, okay, supposed to do is jump up there and then fall back down. Okay, giving it a try. We'll jump, fall. I keep forgetting that we can't just run over that like it's Super Mario. All right. Fall down, jump, kick, there we go. So the timing in this one is pretty important. Got another extra. But of course, the runner games are only one part of the Bit Trip series. I wonder if they'll ever remake those ones too. I know that there was a couple of different Bit Trip games. Some of them would feature Commander Video. I don't think they all did though. Bit Trip, Bit Trip Runner though was the, the most popular one for sure. That's the only one that really got a lot of sequels, I think. Okay, heading up here. We're keeping up pretty darn well. Okay, we got the rainbow ability. Dodging spaceships all over the place. There we go. And we made it to the finish, let's do some dances. I'm gonna be addicted to dancing now. It's just so silly, I love it. So another challenge complete, and with it, we can keep moving forward. So I think this might be our last level for at least right now. We wanna go and check out that runner maker, but now we have the blocking ability. Whoa. Oh, and I can jump and block them too. Very cool. There we go. Now, I don't think we can block everything, but it might be helpful for some obstacles. I guess to grow glowing green blocks. Whenever we see those, and then we can launch ourselves over. Pretty good. Oh my gosh, there's so many buttons to press now. It can get pretty intense. I'm diving, I'm blocking, I'm kicking. It's crazy, there we go. But honestly, it's just a very addicting game. So it's just easy to lose my time to the levels here, but I'm gonna go ahead and block those away. Pretty good. So far, so good. I'm just gonna dive under that. There we go. And boom, we got the finish. That was actually a really good level. Awesome. So there we go, learning all the skills we need to become the best bit trip runner we can be. 
extra points there. We get the key, or at least we're working towards the key. That's great. So yeah, there's more levels to tackle. Maybe we'll save those for later today, or maybe some other time. But for right now, you can see also with those different things we're unlocking, I guess we're getting bonus levels. Whoa, okay, that's actually so cool. And there's even ones based off of Runner 2 and Runner 3. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. You can see the description down there. Play 10-bit trip runner levels with songs from Runner 3. So that's really neat. There's a lot of bonus things here then. Um, I guess you can use the uh, stereos to unlock those. And then of course, we have the community zone here, which is what I'm about to get into. So if we back things up a little bit, we have the Runner Maker, which is where we can make our own bit trip runner levels. Now, I've never been too much of like a level creator. I feel like design's not always my strong point, but at least take a little look at this. Welcome to BitTrip Rerunner Level Editor. This tour will get you acquainted with the basics of the level editor and will allow you to start making levels of your own. For a detailed manual for the level editor, you can go to that website. Okay, cool. So of course we have things like the header and stuff. I'm gonna skip through this a little bit faster just for the sake of the video, but um, this is where we can just sort of create our own bit trip levels. So if you're into games like Mario Maker and stuff, or you can just you know create your own setups, uh, this is pretty darn cool, right? So obviously there's a lot of content to enjoy because you can make your own level. So we can just like, you know, do whatever we want here. <laughs> And like, I guess, you know, obviously since it's a rhythm game, you don't want to make it sync up to the music and stuff. And we can just, I think, player level whenever we want. Which once again, this isn't much of a level right now. I'm just running infinitely until we fall off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, let's head back to the level editor. Okay, yeah. Sounds like a plan. And then we can, of course, add obstacles and stuff, path objects and stuff. Right now, I think the tutorial wants me to add a... um. You can make your own level to your heart's content with all of these different environments and obstacles. So definitely make use of that if you're into that kind of thing. And while I don't have time to make a level at the moment, unfortunately, I do have time to at least check some out. I'm playing before the game actually releases right now, so there's not a ton of user-made levels to choose from, but, but I figure we'll browse the community's levels that are available and see if any of them are fun to try. Okay, so here's our first level. We'll do a few of these, I think. Whoa, okay. The final form? Oh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Run into some issues straight away. What are these blocks? Do I block them? No, okay, I think I might have to jump over them or something like that. Let's give it a try, ready? Whoa, 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 okay, this is fast. Obviously, this is probably gonna be more of a challenge than like the original game, just because that's how user levels always tend to go. Oh man, whoa, whoa, okay. What do we do about the cubes? There's so many new things there I'm running into. Okay, what do I do there? Oh man, this is, oh I have to hold B to blast? What does blasting do? I've never seen that before, so I'm holding B. Whoa, I've never seen that before, that is so cool. Commander video getting upgraded now. This is so neat, I love it. So I jump over that stuff. Whoa, I love it, okay, kick. Ah, oh, I didn't quite do that in time. We're getting farther though. This is thoroughly challenging already. So really the fun never ends with the user created levels. Always new challenges. And then I think I have to spring off of that? Oh no, I don't. But what's so cool about this, right, is that this background, I'm pretty sure is from Runner 2. So it really is like not just a remake of the first Bit Trip Runner, but maybe even so far, as far as I can tell, the best form of runner so far, which is something for me to say because I've played the whole trilogy and I'm really getting a positive impression for this first one. Okay, so we're gonna break our way through this. It is so tough. There's apparently a hundred gold medals to find, so I don't know if we'll, you know, try this level forever, but I wanna give it a couple of good shots here. Okay, kicking through that one. There we go. Now I'm picking up the pace a little bit. Got it, whoa, whoa, okay. I'm reacting to it all on the fly. We'll give it one more good shot here and see what ends up happening. Peeking through that. Ah, oh, darn. All right, come on. I can get a little bit farther than that, right? We'll see. Last chance for real. Ah, uh, okay. I tried my best. It's a tough one. I'll try to look for one more user created level that we can keep up with a little bit better and see how that goes. Okay, this one takes place on the moon, which obviously we've uh, been here before, so maybe we can keep up with this a little bit more. We gotta block that stuff. The platforms are sort of popping up like that are so stressful, but uh, let's try that again. 
Oh no, I missed that. That's okay. If I don't get every gold, not the end of the world. Or the moon here. There we go. Whoa, whoa, crazy. Springing up here. Keep it up with this one a lot better, that is for sure. Oh, that was a big robot, hey? It really is cool to see all the extra things they've sort of added. And there we go, we made it to the end. Not quite getting all the gold, but I'm glad that we were able to complete a user created level. So that's a fun way to break up the action a little bit. I think we'll finish off today's video by going back to the main game though. Oh, I guess we're starting another one. Uh, I think we'll go back to the main game and finish that first world of Runner and see how it goes. So right over here, we still have three more levels left to tackle starting with 110, Force. Let's give it a try. So with this one, I think we'll be able to keep up with everything a little bit better. We just learned the block ability. Can spring my way through all this. There we go. Gotta hide under all the UFOs zipping by. This definitely gets a bit challenging. Very focused in on the moment. There we go. Okay, got it. Gotta kick these away, but then also dive under. I don't know if I can dive and kick at the same time. That'd be very convenient, but I don't know if I can, so I'm not gonna risk it. We're doing so well so far. Okay. Not too bad. Jumping over all that stuff, and we did it 100% on the first try here. Not too bad. Okay, so. Oh man, lots of fun, super addicting. We got 43 million points that time. I think that might be our best score yet. Okay, 111 is urgency. Do we have any new abilities this time? I don't think so. I think at this point, it's just gonna have us sort of keep up with what we have. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, that was super close. I almost ended that in disaster. Would not have been good. I'm still just really impressed by the visuals. And maybe people who hadn't played, oh, that gold piece was weird. That was like right behind the, the, the rock. I need to like jump at just the right time. Uh, but people who might have not played the original might not understand what I mean, but the, the original game just had this very distinct sort of more simplistic art style. And this game does a really good job at making it feel fresh and updated while still sort of respecting that style. And I, that is just something, there we go, I really appreciate. So this one UFO keeps getting me though. That's really tough to line up. But we're gonna get it. I'm determined. Never mind. Okay, I got a little got all mixed up with my buttons there. Come on, come on. Got it. Ooh, I just keep missing that one. Very unfortunate. I need to jump so early to avoid that UFO. There we go. It was not easy, but I'm able to. Oh man! Oh man! I really don't want to mess it up again. There we go, we get the checkpoint. We're getting through it. Okay, so far, not so bad. There we go. We're coming up on the end here, we got the super rainbow ability. Block all those off out of the way. There we go, there we go, and boom, we made it to the end with another um, perfect finisher with all the gold. So challenge completed, really happy to see that stuff. Yeah, it looks really good. We got ourselves another key, which I think goes to the extra section. I figure we'll check that out in a moment, but right now we have our first boss fight, Adversity. Whoa, so what will this be? We get all the extras right away, huh? All right, we're all rainbowed up. Boss time, oh no! What is going on, whoa! Got a giant robot alien. And it's creating obstacles I gotta just sort of avoid on the fly. Oh man, uh oh, oh. That was intense. Oh, we can hit it right back at ya. That was good. Ah, oh, not quite working there. I need to kick once again. We were close though. I don't think that one shot 
has happened yet then. I think we have to do that again. So, I'll dance at him. We're boogieing, we're boogieing. So you keep up with these moves, huh? There we go. Okay. Boom, gotcha. There we go, hit me again. It is so tough. And it feels a lot different than it did last time. Whoa. Whoa, no, what was I? Oh, I think I was supposed to kick him. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. I didn't know what to do there. I think I'm supposed to kick. So when he comes at us again, I'll jump, kick, we'll do whatever we need to do. Knock him out. It is so tough though, it's a very intense fight. There we go. Because I thought that the, the blocking was the one doing damage, but maybe that's just lowering the shield there a little bit. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Boom, I got you good with that one. Breaking open some of the crystals. That's pretty good actually, okay. Gotta spring over all those. Can't ho hope to, you know, to make it to the other side. Whoa, that was a close one too. Oh man, this is actually really tough to keep up with now. Oh man, I wasn't looking for the block. I was too busy focusing on my jump. Yikes. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Dude, this time I'm ready for you. I saw it. Springing over this, I see it. There it is. And I guess maybe the best idea would just be to keep the block out just habitually, but that could be tough sometimes. Boom, we get you again. Just one more hit is all they need to take, and we win. Oh, uh, now he's throwing in UFOs too. This is intense. Breaking that open. Whoa, it was a volley. <laughs> we gotta try that again. I was not expecting that. Okay. Happy for the checkpoints though, that is for sure. Okay, oh man, I pressed the wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> okay, last time here. We're knocking this alien out. Got it. Got it. There we go. Much better. Here we go again. Nice. Whoa. One more time, one more time. Okay. Okay, that was crazy. Oh man, this is so much to keep up with. Here we go. Oh, we got you. Oh man, that was tough. But very satisfying to earn that win. And we finished it. Ooh, do some dances, do some dances. All right, challenge complete. What an experience. So with that, we've completed the first world of the game. We checked out the level creator and one or two of the community levels, so that's always pretty nice. I think we'll head back from here. Obviously, there's still more of the game to play, and if you guys ever wanna see a full series on the game, be sure to let me know. But I do wanna go down here, there's the extras mode. We've been earning up keys for this. I don't know what this is, so I'm really curious. Um, it looks like, I guess we just unlock different, uh, whoa, I can unlock different models and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. So I guess it's just like little um, extras that we can sort of take a look at um, in the game, just for you know continuing to make progress and stuff. That's so neat. <laughs> so yeah, if you want a little gallery thing is unlocked, we have that here. We also have comics. Wow. <laughs> These are so cute, because they're so basic. I like it. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to experience in this game for sure. Besides that, I guess we also have the community zone, um, which I guess we unlock more things here just by being a part of the community and maybe creating more levels and sharing them. That looks like it's the case. Um, interesting. So, definitely worth just sort of getting into the game, getting more a part of that. Yeah, there's sort of like, 
I guess, levels of the day too. That is so cool. So if you're a fan of Bit Trip or maybe you're totally into the series, this is an excellent time to jump in because the game is so much fun. It's everything I loved about the original, but so much more. So definitely go check it out. There's a link in the description to the Steam page for PC for it. Definitely give it a try if you want. Um, and once again, thank you to Choice Provisions for sponsoring this video. It means a lot. This is definitely one of those games I would have played for you guys anyways, but the fact that they were willing to sponsor the video means so much and it really helps out. So thanks to them again. And with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.